One of the most heated debates in cognitive sciences, like linguistics and psychology, is to do with how children learn their native language. The question here really is to do with the fact that how can children who can't tie their own shoelaces or cross the road on their own, how do they learn their native language, which is this really complicated system of communication? And if we compare children's language learning to second language learners, we can notice that the learning outcomes are very different. So a second language learner is unlikely to learn that second language to a native -like level, whereas a young child can learn their native language fluently. This is in the context when young children have very different brains and brain power from adults. They don't know that much about the world. And initially, children don't even know what they're looking for. So to give you an example of the difficulty that children face when they're learning their second language, we can think about the Gavagai problem. Gavagai is a nonsense word, so it doesn't really mean anything. But let's imagine that you want to learn, say, Hungarian, and you go to your first Hungarian lesson. And during that lesson, the teacher points out through the window and says, Gavagai. Now you look out, and what you can see is a rabbit running in the horizon. The problem you have is that you don't know what Gavagai means. It could mean, look at that rabbit, or it could mean, look at those ears, or a rabbit running, or it could mean even something like, look at that lovely sunset. So you don't know what Gavagai is referring to, or what the teacher is trying to say. So children are in a similar position to you in your Hungarian lesson, in that they don't know what their parents are trying to say. But in fact, children are in a worse position to you in that initially children don't understand that their parents are trying to say something because initially they don't have a concept of saying something. So before children can start analysing their native language, they need to understand that humans are social animals and pay attention to those social cues and the fact that parents are in fact trying to say something. So how do children do it? How do they learn their native language? Well, this is a really complicated question and you would have to study a whole module on children's language acquisition to get some sufficient answers for this. But just to give you some examples. So like I already said, humans are social animals and children naturally seek communication and interaction with their caregivers. And children are amazing problem solvers and they use various tasks in figuring out how their native language works. For example, they pay attention to statistical information, so frequency of items, frequency of words and sounds and sentences in their native language, and make some generalizations based on those. Humans are also amazing in noticing similarities between different things and categorizing those into the same categories. And this is the case even though the items aren't exactly the same necessarily. So, Adults, like children, will be able to categorize words like jump, jumping, jumped, and jumps into the category jump. So there's enough similarity in those words to be categorized into the jump category. In the same way, children will have to understand that the word dog doesn't only refer to one particular dog, but lots of different types of dogs can be categorized into that category. Our minds are also really amazing in generalizing information. So children can go from hearing language to becoming adults who can use their native language in lots of different contexts and to produce sentences that they've never heard before. So this gives language its power. Children going beyond from what they've heard. So learning a native language is not an easy task, as we can see from adult learners who struggle to learn a second language. But children do an amazing job in learning.